I told y'all family I was gonna come back and um, give you my testimony. Now, the divine, for two weeks straight, I've been, my encounter has been with the babies, been with all children. Like every other day I would have an encounter. I've had four different encounters in the last couple of weeks where the babies need us. You know, one encounter was, uh, it was three little boys sitting outside my shop. They looked like they cut pot, probably was about four, six, and seven, somewhere around that age. And they were sitting down at the little tables and I guess the grandma was at a store next door and uh, I don't know so I'm just I I just wanted to check on them. I was like y'all right and they was like yeah yeah we're okay how you doing like they were really friendly with me and uh, they was just just the energy from the babies because children if they're not tainted with y'all way of life and they still uh, they still are babies I'm going to put it like that they still babies they can feel they can sense if you're a pure spirit you appear so now uh, I became really uh, it's just the way that they greeted me so um, I gave them some cookies and they were just so happy about me like that just really made me day. Now, my second encounter was with a um, teenager. She was sitting outside my job, and she had a puppy, but she looked distraught. So as I'm leaving my job, my spirit was saying, see if the little girl okay, you know. But I was like, nah. But as I'm walking out, the divine say, you better not. You motherfucking better not. See if that baby okay. So I turned around and I asked her, was she okay? And she said, no. I said, um, are you hungry? What, what do you need? She was like, yeah, I'm hungry. And I didn't go into details with, with her and she didn't go into details with me. But I could sense that she probably had got into it with somebody. She wasn't homeless or nothing, but um, she had got into it with somebody and it looked like they left her for some hours or something. And so I got her something to eat and she was like, thank you so much. This is the second encounter. The third encounter I had with a little girl, she just turned around and ran from her mom and just ran up to me just to say hi. You know what I'm saying? The fourth encounter. Like five little boys uh, walked in and, you know, I usually like, you know, give them maybe cookies or something with their ass. But, but this time, he was like, I would, I, they were like, I like one of them sandwiches. I said, that's what you want? And he was like, yeah. They kind of looked shocked like, um, you know, like, oh, okay, so you really gone? And I asked them what they wanted, and I made it for them. And they were so thankful and grateful. You know, I don't know what the baby situation was, but I know being the elder, I got to do my part. But what's crazy, y'all, is I believe I know that the babies be thinking I'm a lot younger than what I am because I've always had that 
that closeness with the babies. This is why I'm telling y'all, this is part of my mission, you know, for two weeks straight. And I've had a couple of more encounters, but I don't want to sound like, you know, um, you know, showboating or no shit like that. I just want to show y'all that it takes a village to raise a child. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the, ba the babies just want you to listen. They, the smallest thing that you do for them, they be so grateful for them. You may look at it as small, but to them it's big. You know, it takes a lot for a child to feel comfortable with you. Most of the time, children are gonna be weary because, like I said, they 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 have a pure they have a pure spirit, and they can sense with a motherfucker on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But it's like with the babies, they are always comfortable enough with me. You know, I've even had a little girl just run up and give me a hug. I've had, uh, I was on a bus uh, a few months ago, and this little girl just kept staring at me. Just kept staring at me. I was getting off work, and she was like, Hey, you are so beautiful. Y'all. That shit almost brought me to tears just for a baby. She was like about five or six years old. But she kept staring at me the whole time. I was like, maybe she thought I was somebody she'd know, but it wasn't. And I'm not not saying that. Um, and when she said it, the energy I got from it wasn't, oh, I'm just physically beautiful. But she seen my spirit. Yeah, as elders... We got to take care of the babies. I don't give a fuck what you do or who it's for. Make sure you touch our babies in some kind of way. You get what I'm saying? Y'all got to feel me on this. Because y'all are being judged and y'all are being held accountable for y'all actions. If y'all allow our babies to go to waste, then we ain't shit. You might as well just... The whole planet might as well just get wiped out because they have future. And the alum not playing about the babies. All this motherfucking kidnapping and baby rituals and, and all that shit and mistreatment of the babies. Y'all need to stop that shit. If y'all know what's going on, stop it. Get y'all ass off of social media and quit uh, worried about what these celebrities and shit going through. 